I'm gonna go over three things that helped me make 400K this year as a real estate agent. I went from 200 last year to 400 this year. And these three things, if you apply them, will help you make a lot more money too. In my first three years of real estate, I didn't understand really what I had to focus on. I was focusing on the wrong things. I didn't know what to do, so I was making wrong decisions. And everything that I actually had to do, I was doing it at a poor and low skill level. As a result, business was an accident. Every, every check I made was an accident. Every buyer or seller I found and ended up helping was an accident. There was no predictability because I had no real understanding of what I needed to focus on and what skills I needed to improve. During the first three years of doing this, I made a ton of mistakes that cost me a lot of time and money. And looking back, I just wish I didn't waste that time. You need a shortcut. You need to learn from someone that's already made the mistakes, someone that's already paved the path, someone that could show you exactly what to do, give you a literal roadmap on here's what to say, what to do each day, how to think, how to behave, how to act. These are the things to focus on. If I had that first, like my first day as a realtor, I would have saved four years of pain and being broke, but I had too much of an ego. I couldn't do it. I think the thing that got in the way was like my ego and uh, a bit of a fear of failure. So I was like, nah, I could do it on my own. Dumbest shit I ever did. In the most recent three years of my real estate business, I found a sales coach. I found a coach that could help me lead gen and become a better converter. For my real estate coaching company, I found a coach that could help me grow the coaching business to 50K a month. And then we found another guy to help us grow to 100K a month. I was able to find a lot of success in a short time because I had someone literally holding my hand to get me to where I want. There was no guessing involved. Imagine what would happen if you could have your hand held too. By the way, if you're interested in learning how to take one to four new listings a month, join my accelerator program. The second thing, this might be the most important thing, alignment of beliefs. Even if you have the best coach in the world, if your beliefs don't align with your desired outcome, you will self-sabotage. There's going to be resistance, there's gonna be a lot of conflict internally, and you're not gonna do what you set out to do. If my goal is to touch a stove, but I believe that stove is hot, I'm not gonna touch that stove. If I wanna pet that dog, but I think it's gonna bite me, I'm not gonna pet that dog. If I fear failure, success, rejection, I'm not gonna call that lead. If I fear judgment or embarrassment, I'm not gonna role play to improve my skills. If I don't believe I'm good enough, capable, deserving, or worthy of, I'm not gonna do whatever that thing is. I'm just gonna go do something else. I'm gonna go clean my room. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna go walk my dog and just label it as, oh, I'm just lazy. I'm just procrastinating. I'm just not trying hard enough, but that's not true. Those are just surface level symptoms of a limiting belief conflicting with your desired outcome. In order for you to achieve your desired outcome with no hesitation, resistance, or internal conflict, you need to learn how to remove your limiting beliefs so that your beliefs are now aligned with your desired outcome. Because you're never gonna break past 200K a year if you don't think you're good enough. There's no fucking way. Why would you touch the stove if you believe it's hot? If this resonates with you at all, I'm gonna be hosting the Limit Breaker Retreat January 10th to the 12th in Seattle. I'm hosting a three-day event where I'm gonna show you exactly how to communicate with someone's unconscious mind and learn how to remove your limiting beliefs. Before I learned how to do this, I was completely fucking broke at the age of 25, depressed, living with my parents, and failing every business that I ever tried to start. And as a real estate agent, I had a really hard time getting myself to cold call leads, getting myself to go door knock, getting myself to be consistent at follow up and doing open houses. When I would talk to clients, I'd have trouble being confident congruently. I had a lot of beliefs that got in the way of what I was trying to do. So when I learned how to remove my limiting beliefs, it was as if, all the resistance in my life disappeared and I just went for it. After I removed these beliefs for myself, I started to remove them for my agents. Years ago, I removed a limiting belief for this agent who had a lot of fears like fear of failure, fear of success, fear of judgment, fear of embarrassment. I'm not good enough. I'm not capable. I'm not deserving of. They're not gonna wanna work with me. They're not gonna wanna trust me. After removing those beliefs, she went ham during role play. She started making cold calls, reaching out to people and had her first 100K month in like, 
four to six months. Just recently, my agent Shova, she was one of the top producing agents in our office in her state, but she recently moved to a new state and had to start all over. And for months, she struggled with consistency. She didn't really understand why she was hesitating to cold call. Through conversation, it turned out, she didn't believe she was capable of hitting 250k a year, and that unconscious belief playing in the back of her head 24-7 made her not want to cold call. Of course! After 10-15 minutes, I removed that belief, and the next day I received the text that said, I set two listing appointments. And then the next day she called me saying, Aaron, I got an agreement signed. Immediate results as soon as the belief shifted. Because behaviors, choices, actions, decisions are all based on the beliefs you have. You're not gonna touch the stove if you believe it's hot. If you wanna learn how to remove your limiting beliefs and spend three days with me learning exactly how, there's a Calendly link down below. I want you to book a call and let's talk about whether or not this is gonna be a good fit. I can only fit eight of you in the Airbnb and space is limited and I don't know when I'm gonna do this again. So book a call in the link below. Lastly, no balance. People talk about the work-life balance, it doesn't exist. And this might just be where I'm at with my business. Maybe I don't have enough leverage to get a little more balance. But with what I'm trying to create and achieve in my life, many days, I can only eat one meal a day. Several times a month, I need to weigh out. Do I have the time to hang out with my parents right now? I've lost friends because I didn't go out with them anymore. I almost flaked on a dinner last night, but they ended up coming over, bringing food, which was amazing. But that resulted in me staying up later, and then I had to lose sleep the next day. And I'm not okay with this one, but many days, I have to neglect Mango because I'm in my office all day. And if you've heard him scream, you'd understand why. But if you have high aspirations and large dreams, you have to be okay with this. There's no one achieving great things in life with a work-life balance, because then you're half-assing your income. There's gonna be a time where the investments pay out a great chunk of money each month where I don't have to work, but I don't see a life where I don't want more. So I think as a result, it's always gonna go back to no balance. Even if I delegate all my tasks, I'm still gonna be focusing all my time on the high dollar producing activities, which means I'm still busy. So I don't know if this ever ends unless I wanna remove myself from increasing money. If I figure it out, I'll let you guys know, but these three things, if you can lock down these three things, you will make a lot of money next year. If you watched it, if you watched this video to this point, I wanna know exactly who you are. So in the comments below, write in the comments, I wanna align my beliefs and then share with me like what stood out to you, what resonated with you, what did you learn from this? I love reading the comments. And also again, Limit Breaker, January 10th to the 12th. If you wanna learn how to remove your limiting beliefs in person live with me, book a call in the Canly link below. I'll see you soon.